Today we're putting an alternator in this bus. So here's the new alternator. It's a little different than the one that was on here, but it's what uh, it's a new Delco. I'm not sure what this old one is, but this is the same alternator. We're gonna put it on. Looks like it should work. Same. Take a quick video of how this belt's in here. So when I go to put it back together. I could reference this video. So what I do on my vehicles, I know you can look at the pulleys and figure it out, but <clears throat> I always put a little little diagram of what the belt looks like. So if this thing breaks on the side of the road and it's 20 below. You got a general idea of how it needs to be put back together. I know you can look at the pulley smooth side and you got the, the uh, rib side, but it's just what I always do. So I'm the tensioner here. Tensioners are set up so you can put a half inch drive socket in there or ratchet in there. We're going to inspect all these pulleys and then we're going to, if they need to be replaced, replace them. I'm going to see if I can find a uh, new belt. Put a new belt on it today, too. I forgot to mention that the first thing I did is disconnected the battery.
Here's the two alternators. You can see they're a little different, but it's the, uh, I guess it's the newer version of that. They're both Delco. I was told if you're gonna buy a new one, buy a Delco. Don't buy the Reman uh, Wilsons. I think is what they're called from Napa. The uh, the ground's in a little bit different location, but either there or on the side here, down there, where I, this one it was right on the back. So. I'm not sure if you hear that, but it's making some noise, so that one sounds good. This one's making just a little bit of noise, so they just happen to have one at Napa. It's going to go ahead and put a brand new one on there, so I don't have problems down the road someday. So, probably could have just bought some bearings, <clears throat> bearings but, uh, they had, it was only like 60 bucks, so I bought the whole new pulley. But that front bearing, the back one's good. This front one is definitely shot. I mean, it's not good. So, glad I'm doing this right here in the garage because eventually that bearing would have failed me. And I would have been on the road somewhere. Here's a new one. There's a new idler pulley. That's good. There's a gap right there. I'm assuming that this bushing right here is gonna slide in and fill that gap so we don't break this cast aluminum. sliding in right there. Well, they made it kind of easy to replace the fan, or the, uh, not the fan, but the uh, belt. They uh, made it to where you can just unplug this wire and pull your, uh, once you get the wire unplugged, then you get your fan, the belt out. I can get the thing unhooked. Out of the 
the Darren. Go my way. I'll bring it my way. So this is why you call your local international dealer if you're dealing with an international. You just give them the last eight of your VIN and uh, you end up with the right stuff instead of trying to just go to Napa and have them try to figure it out. Don't worry about that. Do you see the bottom one down there? Yeah, this one. That pulley is where we're going to start. So we'll... Take this, it goes on the smooth side of the pulley. See the, the smooth oh. pulleys? The smooth pulleys is where the, yeah, the, back, is the back of the belt goes. It's so, but we need to worry about the, the very bottom one. You see it down there? I can't really get my hand in there. Uh, we'll say, that's why we do, it goes on, I, hold on. You're, don't do that. Mm. This side has to go down there. Want me over there then? No. I'm going to pull your side tight so it ain't down there. And then we have to get this side down. Oh, can you reach that? Yes. And the wire, hold on the wire. So remember earlier, I drew that. The reason why I drew that is because if you didn't pay good attention to how it came off, even though it's self-explanatory on which side of the pulley the belt should be, you know, if it's a groove pulley or a smooth pulley, you can see down there if Aaron would have hooked it up the way he was trying to hook it up, which it could have went that way, it would have been installed wrong. And then maybe we would have figured it out sooner or later, but it would have been a waste of our time. So, I always do that. If, if the vehicle don't have it, I do it. So, we go over the tensioner. On the alternator. I don't wear pulleys. You want to go around yours? Here, I'll find a. Is it on? Yeah. <clears throat> hey, you want to make sure you're in. Actually, in the grooves of the pulleys where they're supposed to be. Looks good. It's easy if you have a diagram. If it breaks and you're on the side of the road, even if you have a spare belt, you'll be there for a little bit trying to figure it out. So do yourself a favor and draw that if you have not drawn it. So I'm not sure <clears throat> why the alternator quit working, but while I was installing the Wabasto heater, it uh, quit charging. When I put a battery back in it, I think I shorted out one of my battery cables while I was moving wires around. But anyways, long story short, if you need to replace your alternator, I would call your local dealer for whatever engine you have. If it's a cat, call your cat dealer or, or whatever. Cummins, call your Cummins dealer. I just happen to have the T444E in my motorhome, so I called the international dealer and my bus is a 2000 International, and that's the alternator right there. 
that that's the part number that the international dealer gave me. They didn't have the alternator, but I was able to call Napa with that part number and I bought a brand new Delco, not a Reman, but a Delco brand new alternator for my motorhome. And uh, I called <clears throat> I called the rebuilder people, the people that rebuild these things in the north, uh, well, in the on the west coast. They told me to stay away from the Wilson rebuilt alternators that Napa does have. It wasn't that much cheaper to buy a rebuilt. I bought a brand new one. Looks a little different, but if you you know if you call your local dealer, they will get you the right stuff. Same thing goes for the belt. I, I started researching what belt to put on this thing. And first thing I saw was people trying to go through, you know, Napa, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, and they're making three or four trips. Call your local dealer on your, for these parts. It's so much easier to get the right part the first time and not have to run around all day long trying to find, you know, two or three trips to, the, to your, uh, Napper or O'Reilly's, but anyways, it was a half hour job, new Id idler pulley, new alternator, and new belt, and I drew my diagram, makes it a lot easier. In the next video, you'll see the full install of the uh, Labasto heater.